Okay, so this is a pretty cool lesson. What we're going to do here is we're going to learn how to create an opaque um, image uh, or to make an image pseudo transparent. So what that means is that you can see here up top, I have two images. They both kind of appear. This is a picture of Elsa and Elsa and Anna from um, Frozen. And when I hover over them, it kind of becomes crystal or crisp, so non-opaque. Um, or non-transparent and then when I hover when I stop hovering over it it changes so this is a really cool interactive feature then you also see here that I've created a an opaque um, text box that overlays the picture of uh, the girl from Frozen the queen from Frozen so we're gonna do both of these we're gonna create an image that turns transparent when the user hovers over it and we're gonna create a transparent text box on top of an image Let's go to our code here. You can see I, I um, just left your space. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to have our we have our two images. Um, so if I click here, we have our two images here, but we haven't put our code in, so nothing really happens. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a image, um, and we're going to make it opaque. Um, when nothing is happening all right and so what we do here is we type in opacity and this is a, a decimal so how opaque do you want it to be we're going to put 0.4 um, and that's going to mean that it you that it's going to be uh, dim and then we have actually a specific text that we have to use if we want this to be compliant for Internet Explorer, and I have that over here in your assignment section, so I'm just going to copy it and put it here, so you can just copy that in. Um, and so now, when I click Save Work, I make them both opaque. Uh, and then, the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to specify what I should be doing when I hover, right? So, uh, this is going to be hover, and in this case, I want it to be... Um, uh, I guess not opaque. I might need to re revisit my my terms here. Um, in which case, but so this is going to be clear. So uh, whereas 0.4 is kind of dimming out what we're seeing, this one is not dimming it at all at all. Um, so I click Save Work and Show Web Page, and now it responds to my hovering. Okay. So you can see here, all I have to do is specify one level of opacity. Opacity opacity for the uh, image and then when have my hover pseudo class um, occur and it changes the opacity okay so that's the first step now the next thing we want to do is we want to have a background a div class background and a div class trans box and that is going to be for our our text box so now right now you can see we have our text box, but there are no codes at all. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um, create a background. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say div background, right? So that's using my class tag. And let's make it width of 600 pixels. And we'll do a height of 350 pixels and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it an image a background uh, I'm gonna draw a background image by doing background URL and then I'm going to basically take my image here the the image of Elsa and I'm gonna put it in there And I'm going to say I want that to be repeat. Um, I'm going to give it a border, just a, a little bit of a border, solid, black. And that will be my first, um, the first step of creating this text box. Okay, so you can see I do that. Um, so I have the background image, but now I want to create the content so that that text box shows up the way we saw it earlier okay so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a 
trans box or just a, a any kind of div tag. So let me come in here and copy what I have here and then you can type that yourself. So I have a class called transbox or a text box, whatever. And you can see I'm going to make it a little smaller width. Um, why is that? Oh. Okay, so I made a made one change here is I want this to be 350 pixels instead of uh, I think I had it put it in as 250 accidentally. All right, so let's make that change. And then we click here and we can see that we have a big background image. Now I still have some text here. I haven't created my, my uh, uh, opaque um, text box yet. Um, I just have the text defaulted in there so it just shows up against the background. But that's what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna create our text box. And I have that labeled as a class of uh, called trans box, okay? So what do I do here? I have a width that's smaller, okay? I have a height that's smaller. I have a background color um, of white. I have a border, and then I have the opacity of point, uh, 0.6. So it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna have some of the same levels of transparency or opacity that I have there. I think opa actually opacity is the reverse of transparency. Transparency is when you can see through it. Opacity is when you can't see through it. So this is, um, uh, making it so that you uh, so that it you can't see through it um, by putting on this type of uh, image here, but it's it's changing its dimness. So I'm going to click Save Work and Show Web Page. So you can see here that I have it. So it's not the same size as my background. It's opaque. You can see through it uh, a little bit to to the image behind it. I mean, it's transparent. It's semi-transparent, semi-opaque. Opaque. Um, so the next thing that I want to do is I want the uh, text that's within there to be, um, I want that to be, uh, have some some padding and some, uh, so that it's it's not just right up against the edge. So I'm just gonna do here and I'll just do some padding. And I think I wanna have a margin um, so I say 30 pixels, 50 pixels, and I'll do font, weight, bold, and I'll do the color um, of red. Okay, so Let's to, to review, uh, transparent means you can see through it, opaque means that you can't see through it. So I'm making this uh, text box sort of semi-opaque, semi-transparent. If it was fully opaque, like this, um, then we wouldn't be able to see through it at all, right? It would just be a box but we're gonna make it semi-opaque, semi-transparent, and make it 0.6 and 60. And you can experiment with this. The assignment is the assignment, okay? And that would be complete item one and item two on the assignment.